Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Pallet Town Suicidal. Actually, I ordered sushi from Sushi Out today. I forgot to take a picture of the the container to get you the little drawings that they did for me. Unfortunately, so I've I've lied to you. Next time, next time I get uh, I get sushi, I'll show you the the pictures that they draw because they're so cute. I love them. I love them so much. Um. Yeah, I woke up this morning and uh, my sister had texted me saying that we're gonna be having Langford sushi for dinner. Um, which is like a, uh, um, fairly local-ish, um, sushi restaurant. Like, I, I think they're, um, not franchised, but like the other one. So I, I, you, they, they have multiple stores that you can go to to, to get stuff. Um, but, time came around for dinner time and, and they were closed. So they were ordering their food and, and they weren't able to get anything. So they went to Edo Japan instead, which is uh, just your bog standard like Japanese fast food kind of thing with with a little bit of sushi and then mostly just um, you know bento boxes. Um, and uh, I'm like, you know, I was I was excited for sushi, so. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get sushi. I don't really like Edo Japan anyway. Um, just just for me, it's it's not like cheaper than uh, going to to like a better restaurant, and and the quality of it is just not that good. The stuff it just doesn't taste that good. I'd rather just order from from some proper Japanese restaurant that actually has like decent stuff and get get better stuff and taste better. <laughs> so. I don't, I don't eat it at Edo Japan, but my family loves it. They're big fans. They eat their, uh, or we order from there all the time. I don't take part. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into that kind of food. The, the cheap, kind of not so great Japanese garbage. No, 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 not for me, not for me. So I had, I had sushi out today, which was, uh, which was nice. Had, uh, had my miso soup with my rice, a nice cucumber roll, some salmon rolls. I had uh, surf clam. I believe it's hokigai. Probably hokigai. Um, surf clam nigiri. And uh, it was the first time I ever had it. It was uh, the surf clam. It was okay. I've never had it before. Um, probably would order it again. Well, like, it wasn't bad. It's just, uh, I don't typically order more than one nigiri because, uh, I just, like, you're getting too much food at that point, you know? Like, it's 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 an obnoxious amount of food that you're ordering once you start. Because I like getting the rolls, you know? And then it's just a little treat that I give myself. Um, and, uh, the surf clam was good. You know, it would definitely be in my list of of, uh, of sushi to get if we're just doing like a, a sushi platter or something like that. You know, not necessarily going for rolls or whatever. It would definitely be up there. The hokey guy would be up there for sure. But, 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 but. So I'm just ordering one, you know, piece of fish on a, on a bed of rice. Just, just one. Ah, probably... <laughs> not gonna be that. It's usually tuna belly, <laughs> you know, because it's cheap relative to um, you know, the the premium you pay for other things. Like uh, salmon nigiri was like, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, yo! It's like uh, two ninety nine for. One piece, and then, or not, like two fifty or something like that. Um, and then tuna belly is is like two seventy or three dollars or something. Um, so it's, like it's not that much more expensive than uh, them all. Like they're all pretty much within an amount of money that I don't need to concern myself with of each other, you know. So I don't, uh, I don't hold back there. I I go uh, tuna belly typically. And that's all the tuna that I get for uh, 
for my sushi. Sometimes I get octopus. Octopus is also quite nice. Um, but uh, some sometimes barbecue eel as well. I had, uh, had some barbecue eel today as well. I like barbecue eel. It's not my favorite thing in the world. It's good. You know, it's good. It's not really uh, like that good though, you know? Because when I, when I get sushi, I like having that... The, the fish as, as being the, the primary uh, like flavor of the of the dish. Whereas with barbecue eel, I've never had plain eel before. I assume there's a reason for that. Um, all I've ever had is barbecue eel. Um, and and the, the barbecue flavorings and, and the marinade and all this kind of stuff that they put on it is very strong. And it tastes good, but you don't, you don't really get that... Uh, sort of fishy is not really the right word because it, it kind of it makes you think of a different thing than what I'm trying to say but that's kind of the only word I can think of because uh, you know when you have like a, a raw piece of salmon like it tastes fishy because you're eating salmon it's fish whatever it tastes like it tastes fishy you know um, but it doesn't taste like bad fishy you know like when when it's super smelly and and uh, very strong it's it's bad fish don't eat it um, hello? Stalkers? Um, so the, uh, the barbecue eel is, is, it, it just, it just gets kind of overwhelmed by the, um, by the fish, or by, by the, by the barbecue part of it. You don't really get, like, the eel flavor. And again, I assume there's a reason for it. It's probably not a very good flavor on its own, or, like, it's either bland or, like, too, you know, I don't know, gamey or something, maybe? I don't know. Um, it's probably not a very good flavor by itself. It's mostly probably just for, like, the texture and the, um, uh, like, convenience of it, maybe? I don't know. Um, but the flavor, I imagine, of eel is, is probably not the big reason why it's, like, a part of sushi. Because, again, I've never had just plain eel. Um, I'd try it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you can have it raw. Um, I, I, I'd assume you can't. Um, just kind of thinking with my brain for two moments. I'd assume you can't just eat it raw. Well, you probably could. Um, but I, I, I think it would imag in involve like a lot of prep work and like just cook it. Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a fishmonger, I'm not a food and safety health professional, you know? I don't know all these, all these details. What I do know is that it tastes pretty good, though. But it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. But, you know, you can't always get your favorite, because then you, you, you want to have other things at times, right? Today I was feeling like eel. It's hard when I order sushi. Like, what I wish I could do is order, because this is why I like the rainbow roll so much, but what I wish I could do is um, have like one roll that's just like eight different rolls kind of mixed together. Because I, I, like, I want to have so many things. I want to have like a cucumber roll, and I want to have a salmon roll, and I want to have a tuna roll, and I want to have, you know, I want to have an eel roll, and I want to have, you know, all these things, but now we're getting up to, you know, like... Ninety dollars, a hundred dollars for this order of fish, and it just is an enormous amount of food. Like I can't physically eat it all. Um, so what I wish I could do is just order like, you know, yeah. Can you make this roll? But on like this part, you only put the tuna on. On this part, you just. But you can't do that because like it just, with the way that sushi is made, it's just not reasonable. But um, I wish you could. So I oftentimes end up ordering more sushi than I. Uh, oops. Yes, this one. I oftentimes end up more ordering more food than I I intend to when I have sushi, just because like I can't decide. I'm like I need the I need the you know the cucumber roll is a staple for me. Um, miso and rice is an absolute necessity if I'm having Japanese food anywhere. It's like that's that's the best part for me. Um, and then uh, you know you got to add in some kind of rich fatty thing you know some kind of tuna maybe or 
um, something like that, and you gotta add in, you know, all these things. It's just like you know, I just, I just want to. So it's kind of, it's, 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 it's why it's like a, a good thing to have for like parties or something like that, because you can order like a whole bunch of rolls, and then everybody just has like part of one, right? Um, you can kind of spread it out that way. But when you're just one person, it's like, well, I don't really like. I want all of it. <laughs> I want one of all of them. But that's just too much food to eat. You know, especially when I'm trying to lose weight. It's um, it's bad. So I don't overeat when I order sushi. I don't. Uh, I don't overeat, but <laughs> when when I order sushi, typically the sushi is what I'm eating for that day. You know, <laughs> like I. There's nothing else going on here. There's nothing else that's uh. There's nothing else that's that's gonna get um eaten today. It's just the sushi. Cause uh, it was a lot of sushi that I ate. It was good, and then uh, it probably got me about 1,500 to yeah. You know, it might have been a few hundred calories over. I'm not really worried about that, honestly. Um, but the frequency at which I eat sushi, um, which is quite often, but it's also like. A small amount of calories over, like it ends up getting. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll end up eating at more of a deficit than that tomorrow. So, like, whatever. Ate at more of a deficit than that yesterday. You know, like it's not really worried about it from from that perspective. I, I'd rather just enjoy my sushi, really. Um, but you know, any more than that, and it's like, yeah, no, you're just you're getting into too much food. Like another roll, and yeah, and another like. You know, 300, 400 calories maybe from 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 another like small roll, and it's like, yeah, no, you're you're starting to be a little bit unreasonable. You're gonna have to to calm it down on that one. But uh, yeah, I just say uh, what, what I'm basically saying is I need to have friends who also like sushi, and then we can have like a game night and just order a bunch of sushi. My sister likes sushi. Um, but she doesn't like all of it, you know? She doesn't like all of it. She won't eat, like, clam, scallops. Um, she can't have tuna. Like, she's allergic to a lot of it as well. Um, so typically when we eat, she, it's, it's, it's fairly conservative stuff. Um, you know? Like, octopus is, is about as, uh, as funky as we get, usually, when, uh, when we have sushi. Or at least as funky as she gets when we have sushi. Whereas I'm like, yeah, no, I want the like, I want the eel, I want the the chopped scallops, I want you know like all of it, dude. Give me the 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 the, the stuff that everybody else thinks is gross. Like, bring it on, dude. I'll take roe, you know, some fish eggs, Tobiko, you know, all this kind of. It's all good, man. It's all good. But, uh, a lot of it is either, you know, she has an allergy to it, or, or she just doesn't want it. And it's fine, you know? It's not like she has to like sushi, but it's it's not solving my problem of, of needing uh, somebody who I can order sushi with. My father's into sushi, but, well, he would, he's not picky, I guess is a more accurate way to say it. Saying that he's into sushi is a bit disingenuous. But then I'm also, like, not particularly a big fan of my father. So, even if he was, I'd be like, I don't know. Is he the person who I really want to order sushi and then have a game night with? Not really. <laughs> not really. Um, my mother doesn't eat sushi. And same kind of problem with her anyway. Um, and then, uh, you know, I don't have any other people in my life in real life. I got friends online who are into sushi. Friends online who would uh, be all up in that, but in real life, nah. I ain't got nobody. I'll have somebody someday, you know. It's not uh, like the end of the world, right? But uh, every time I order sushi, I do think, man, I just I wish I had like five people here who could split a bill and just order like $150 worth of sushi and uh, just have like a really banging night, you know? Really just have like a, a good day of uh, having a whole bunch of, uh, of strange sushi. You know, give me give me like the 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 weird like poisonous stuff and <laughs> you know like all of that. I'm into it, man. Bring it on. I want to try it all. I'm a, I'm a big food person. You know, I like trying foods. 
There's, uh, there's very little in this world that I wouldn't try. You know? Back in the day, there, I was, uh, I was a much more picky eater. Well, I'm still... I still have a refined palate. But, uh... Back in the day, I would be a lot more reserved about, um... What I'd be eating, you know? Uh, whereas these days, while I have my preferences, and there are definitely a lot of things that I don't like, and uh, my diet typically revolves around like you know the same kinds of foods over and over again, um, and there are a lot of things that I won't like, and, and I still might be viewed as being particularly picky. There's nothing that I like won't at least try, you know. I'm a, I'm a you know traditionally picky eater, but that's not for a lack of trying. Mostly for a lack of the stuff I like is just far too expensive to be realistic to actually consume on a daily basis. I have a very expensive palate. Is really what it boils down to. I don't like cheap food. You know? Well, not necessarily true. Um, I do like cheap food. But, uh, like most of the... When you, when you think of food that's sole purpose is like being cheap basically it's just it's not for me like hamburgers not into it fish burgers not into it you know I just uh, that kind of stuff I don't care for um, I don't know I'm, I'm trying to think of other examples there's a lot of them I just can't think of any um, but I, just, I don't like a lot of foods that uh, that are considered fairly staple and like, like spaghetti I won't eat spaghetti well like I'll eat it if I have to but I would never make it for myself. You know, people will be like, oh, well, it's a cheap meal. If it's all you got, then it's what you're going to eat. Yeah, you know. I guess. Um, I don't like it. I'd, I'd just make something else that's also cheap, you know. I'd rather just have, like, buttered noodles or something. Which is cheaper. And, uh... You don't have meat. So, uh, no protein. Um, but, like, I don't know. Chop up some salami or something. I don't care. <laughs> like, it's fine. Um... But, uh, yeah, like, I don't like meatballs, meatloaf, a lot, a lot of stuff that I don't like, um, that, that a lot of people consider to be staples in their lives, um, that I just, I can't stand. But, uh, a lot of things that I, I do like that a lot of people, I think, wouldn't be at all interested in, like, for instance, octopus, I love octopus, um, octopus is delightful, I feel like that's something that perhaps even most people would be, uh, Opposed to being a regular part of the diet. I'd, I'd be into it, okay? Octopus, you know, how much? I've never actually looked, but how much does uh, octopus cost in Canada? Seafood Online Canada. Octopus, for like a proper octopus. Two to four pounds from Portugal by piece frozen. So, about 40 bucks for... It's two to four pounds each. This is bizarre. Hold up. This is truly bizarre. This is two to four pounds per piece. And it's $40. You could get a two pound piece for $40 or you could get a four pound piece for $20. And that's twice as much octopus. <laughs> for the, like, like, like. There's just, there's something wrong there. There's something wrong there. Um, but anyway, it's expensive. Tastes great, but it's not cheap. Um, you know, but I'd, I'd be into octopus every day. Heck yeah, dude, it's awesome. I love octopus. It's um, delightful. Uh, eel, absolutely. Yeah, I haven't had snake, but I'd, I'd assume I'd be into snake as well. Um... Lots, lots of foods that I like that that are, are considered fairly exotic, perhaps, to a lot of people. Things that uh, that a lot of people I think wouldn't be into, but which I am. And it just so happens that what I like tends to be fairly expensive, and what I don't like tends to be fairly inexpensive. It's not to say that I can't be fed for cheap. I just, uh, you know, when we're going to be doing something and it's cheap, I'm like, I don't know. It's probably not going to be that good. It's not supposed to be good. It's supposed to be cheap, you know. Name of the game's right there. It's a, it's a cheap meal, but come on, Ice. I need you closer to me. Come on. I don't need you to run away. Oh, 
There we go. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You should stuck, dude. All right. So yeah, I don't know. I just gotta find a bunch of friends, and then we can have a sushi night. It's not a finger food. A lot of people think the sushi is a finger food. It is not a finger food. It is a chopstick food. Um. Yeah, you can't you can't eat sushi with your hands cleanly. You'll get like soy sauce all over it, and like fish eggs, and you know whatever their kind of garbage is in it. You get avocado spreading on it, and you know maybe some wasabi or something. It's just it's nasty, dude. You can't eat it with your fingers. You gotta eat with chopsticks, or a fork or spoon or something, you know. But um, I, I I eat with chopsticks. I like chopsticks. They're they're convenient. Um, can't imagine. Like you could eat sushi with a fork. You could stab it and like stick it in your mouth. It would be fine. But I don't know. Chopsticks work fine. <laughs> Spoon would be okay too. But like I just again, it's it's just, it's very convenient. Just being like the thing with chopsticks. I don't have. We're kind of out of time here. But the thing with chopsticks for me is that it's very convenient to like pick something up and then place it in your mouth. You know. Whereas with like a fork, yeah, it's like kind of like bite it off of the fork, and with a spoon, you have to kind of like peel it off with your lip. With the chopsticks, you just pick it up, put it in your mouth, let go, and there you go. You've got your your food in your mouth with your chopsticks. It's a very convenient uh, way to eat, um, and I use chopsticks all the time um, when I'm eating stuff that's convenient. Like watermelon's great with chopsticks. Any anything like that, it's uh, it's fantastic with chopsticks. Um, so, I like chopsticks, is, uh, I've got, I've got my own set, and, um, I use them all the time, so I'm good at them, I know how to use them. Well, I feel, I feel like that's kind of the thing, right, is a lot of people don't know how to use chopsticks properly, and what's, so it's hard for them to use it, so they don't see it as being an improvement, but once you're, like, you know, capable of using chopsticks to eat, um, that they're not. They're not bad, you know. They have they have their pros and their cons. I wouldn't eat like a soup with chopsticks. I wouldn't eat a steak with chopsticks, right? They 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 they're good for some foods, bad for other foods. Forks are good for some foods, bad for other foods. You know, it all depends on what you're eating. But the uh, once once you're good at using chopsticks, man, they they really make uh make eating some foods a lot better. They are really just way more convenient for a lot of things. Sushi is one of them, watermelon's another. But that's gonna do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.